Welcome to Capacity TV, and today uh, we're here with Michael Wheeler from NTT Communications. Uh, thank you for coming, Michael. Michael, uh, how important is network security for NTT Communications and for global carriers in general? Security in general is very important, I would say, for not only us, but for anybody that's in that space. Um, there are offerings and there are, are solutions for customers, but there's also just infrastructure and protecting your own network and doing the right things to make sure that we have a, you know, a solid business in place operationally. What solutions does NTT Communications offer against threats or attacks on networks? First and foremost, any customer who's a customer of ours can get access to things like uh, black hole routing as part of their BGP setup. We even offer uh, something called selective black hole routing, which allows them to be a little more uh, granular in filtering out traffic that they don't want coming to them from different parts of the world. Those are just free parts of the service that we offer as a transit customer. On top of that, we also have an offering called DDoS Protection Service that is basically a mitigation service. So when a customer has that service in place, we will scrub traffic that's going to them that's attack traffic or bad traffic and we'll scrub out that traffic and let the good traffic pass through. Uh, there are other components that service like implementing ACLs on a permanent basis and some other aspects, other, other tools that we can use as a part of the service, but those are really the, the primary things that we provide. We wanna give customers tools of their own to use, but also provide them services that are kind of beyond maybe the normal organic customer scope of, of, of service they have. And the DDoS attack still the main problem, one of the main problems? I mean, it's in the broadest category, yes. Um, yeah. There are lots of variables to DDoS attacks. There are lots of strategies even that, that people are using, but you know, it really comes down to you know mostly criminals. These are the occasional zealot involved, but the, uh, the reality is, is that that's the broadest category. And then within that, there are you know many subsets that you kind of have to deal with and, and many, like I said, strategies. Um, what is NTTCom's current approach to OTT players? Uh, it's the same today as it has been for many years. I mean, we look at uh, over the top players, content players as an important part of the network ecosystem. There's certainly you know the reason why you know consumers as well as enterprises are using the internet and the level and scale that it is today so they're a very important part in, a, in many good ways they create challenges because their you know content and the, and the use of their content drives demand for end users and so that creates you know a challenge for us positive challenge but a challenge nonetheless well it's good that's a good question isn't it? how do you deal with those challenges then well it's a part of just managing our business and we you know with some of those larger customers that we have we really have to be very proactive and very collaborative with them even to understand where their plans are taking them network wise geographically but also from a volume point of view um, and so you know that's a part of our just standard business process working with those different players but you know we, we think that there's a, a very uh, mutually beneficial fit that can occur within you know the content players and the carrier side and that's always been our strategy and, and certainly still is today what would you say are the main challenges that uh, global wholesale players uh, face in the coming years? I think also some similar challenges that we've had in the past. I mean, just scale, continue to grow the network. I think that, to be honest, the markets that have good penetration have been the easier markets to get into globally. I think some of the harder markets with a little less fixed infrastructure, a little less um, capability to grow are the next places where we're going to see global players really having to extend into. That's going to be a bigger challenge. And then just the uh, the cost and, and, and pricing compressions that occur within the marketplace is you know, not a true real challenge either. Well, Michael, thank you very much for coming in to talk to us at Capacity TV, and uh, we'll see you again very soon. Thanks for having me.